and sports. Where do you stand on NFL teams holding workouts with players in shorts and sometimes no helmets? What's the point? If you're going to make guys go out there and run around and do fakey, non-contact, non-tackle football, non-blocking football, why don't you make them put on all the gear? Wouldn't that be a better use of your time? Sure, it takes a little bit extra, you know, longer, but it's closer to the real thing. I always look at those shorts workouts like, okay, well, Bryce Young looks good. He's in shorts. Will he play any games in shorts this year and no pads? No. Well, so there you go. Yeah, but is that the point of that, you know, what they're trying to do there? If it's no. more about just running through the drills so that you learn it them, is. then right. I don't know that what you're wearing is going to impact that. You're learning the plays first. Yeah, it it, it is. Uh, it is just to go through the walkthrough, but I, I think they should go further. It, to me, it seems lazy, Josh. It seems like they're cutting corners. Put on the pants, put on the shoulder pads that you're going to wear for the game, put on a helmet, and then go through your non-contact drills. Okay. I, I bet Kuhn would say, you're an idiot, Zabe. That would yeah. not do anything for anybody. I, I really don't. I, I would kind of be okay. with him. I, there's a reason. <laughs> There's a reason why they don't make them. Okay. Uh, where do you stand media? Where do you stand on cutting away from golf tournaments because they've gone to extra holes and they're over their allotted broadcast window? Why does this still happen in today's day and age? It happened to the live tour where they cut away on the CW for the playoff involving Dustin Johnson, Cam Smith, and Brandon Grace. In fact, they cut away for some of the worst programming ever. I think the Buffalo market cut away, cut away for infomercials. New York cut away for Penn and Teller reruns. It was just unbelievable. It's like, hey, we're paying to be on your channel. You can delay the other stuff until we're done. Well, and 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 that's that's the big thing is it depends on what you have coming up next. You know, if you're cutting away from a live event that is already paying to be on the station or that you paid to have on your station to show I love Lucy reruns. I'm going to question that decision. That, that, yeah. that doesn't make sense. Uh, Miami, the Miami market of the CW aired a repeat of the Goldbergs. KTLA aired interviews by Frank Buckley. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Uh, like I said, Buffalo did skincare commercials, infomercials, New York, Penn and Teller. And then get this, even Tulsa, the Tulsa CW, where they were having the tournament, they cut away too. <laughs> Whoops. Yikes. Also, Rory McElroy says he's no longer talking about the live tour. I wish you would no longer talk about it. Okay, sure. Oh, wow. Where do you stand Wednesday food? Where do you stand on Cheez-Its? Ooh, good one. I don't like Cheez-Its. Of any kind? Any flavor? The light, the what? What do they call those? The uh, the 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 light flavored Cheez Its, the uh, light colored Cheez Its. Those I can stomach, but otherwise they're just too dry. I mean, I guess if I was ten years old, I'd eat them, but no. Who's ever will? <laughs> Who's ever will? Let him come. You're right there, Don. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the great Don King. <laughs> what are you eating, by the way? I was eating some Cheez Its. <laughs> I love Cheez-Its. <laughs> you can't put I that lied. box down. I've been the same place, Don. <laughs> it, it is very typical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's, right. a, that's a younger me 20 years ago interviewing Don King on the radio and then lying through my teeth about loving Cheez-Its. I don't love like Cheez-Its. It does not sound like me. You're right. Where do you stand Wednesday? Where do you stand etiquette? Where do you stand on the phrase, per my previous email? Oh, let's go. <laughs> the the saltiness is is undefeated it you might as well just type in your email you are a stupid dot 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 right it's the same thing as saying per my previous email uh where do you stand wednesday where do you stand women where do you stand on olivia rodrigo best known for her work on disney's pluses high school musical in which she plays Nini Salazar Gomez. Uh, give me a second. She's a she's a talented young actress. 
but she's very, very young. Very young. She's like my daughter's age. So yeah, I was gonna Olivia, uh, that's who I thought it was. Yeah. No, she Olivia. she came up huge. She had like four number one hits at that's a true very, too. Very yeah, she's age. multi-talented act actress and singer. No, I think she's uh, great. finally, where do you stand? Where do you stand Wednesday? Where do you stand other? Where do you stand on the phrase currently we're experiencing higher than normal call volumes? Yeah, I I hate that. I hate How that. about shut your face? <laughs> How about I don't answer care. my call? Right. Nobody cares about whether or not you're experiencing high call volumes. Either you are or are not able to take my call right now. No, it's and and the worst part is, as you can tell, that the majority of those are recorded. It doesn't matter what time I'm calling, you're always experiencing high it's always, call volumes. Yes. It's three Monday, in the morning. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the Tuesday after a long weekend, the Friday before a long. It doesn't matter. It's always high call volume. Right. So now I don't even believe you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yours, sports media, food, etiquette, women, other. What do you got? All right. Sports. Where do you stand on the music playing during basketball games? Like as the game is being played? You can I think it's terrible. It's an abomination. I don't know why they still do it, even for NBA games in the playoffs. Playoffs. Well, the, and, the playoffs. And the thing the is, playoffs. Yes. Like you, you know, you sometimes in other sports, you'll you'll hear the in baseball, you'll have the organ, you know, and you you know, there. It's not like there's no music in any other sports, but like as the play is actually happening, I have always weird. thought it was. Uh, I thought it was just embarrassing for the NBA. But if you if they didn't play it, these arenas would sound very quiet. Would they? NBA you have crowds. the fans cheering defense and doing all this other stuff. Yeah. NBA crowds are sophisticated. They know nobody makes a run till the fourth quarter. So the first three quarters are just sort of feeling out time. Okay. All right. Uh, media, where do you stand on watching the Brewers game replay the next day on uh, like Bally? Condensed. Bally Sports. Yeah, it's a, a semi-condensed, but they'll show... How long They'll show is the game again? I don't know the exact runtime. A half, you know, like half the the original game time. Just the the innings that have highlights probably get through it in an hour. I would say. So so they'll cut out selected boring chunks of the game. Yeah, like if there's and and okay. just make it go quicker. Okay. Well, there's there's a difference between a tightly condensed. Here's every pitch, every play, every at bat you know tight no it's not, not that versus versus an edited game that says yeah you don't need the fourth inning nothing happened correct yeah like that it's the, the oh, second okay. the latter yeah i'm a huge, yeah, no, it's I'm good. A huge if you, fan if you don't have time yeah right unless Speak. unless i know that they lost 18 to 1 like i'll it's, i'll have that game on in the background sure it's baseball only faster right I'm it a fan. happens a lot. Uh, etiquette. Where do you stand on the right age to start paying your kid an allowance to do chores? Early as possible. Teaches them responsibility. Teaches them, hey, I do this. I get money. I like money. Money allows me to buy things, do stuff. Yay. Mm. I would do it as early as you can. Sounds like you're objecting. To Julie wanting to give Jordy an allowance. No, Julie hasn't said anything about it. Right now, we just ask Jordy for help. If we need help with something, we just ask him and he helps us. I just I don't think some we're gonna introduce, I don't want to introduce there being an allowance oh, okay. until he fully understands, hey, I I want this. Okay, well then work for it. Yeah. Now, some families believe in, hey, we're giving you food, shelter, education, shoes, you name it. You're going to help around the house right. for no money whatsoever. And I respect that as well, but I'm not against the naked capitalistic teachings of an allowance. Yeah. It's a I, good thing. I don't have a problem with an allowance. I just think that, you know, the allowance should come when it's kind of a negotiating deal, you know, same as someone getting a job. As, 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 as long as I can teach my kid that sometimes you just have to do things because that's life, I'm going to take that road. Food, where do you stand on asking someone to make you a plate 
or make your kid a plate if you're <laughs> make me a plate at, at something a, at a picnic at a buffet hey make me a plate yeah hey i'm i'm going to stay here I, uh, with the kid can you make me a plate I, I don't mind it if it is your wife or husband if it's a friend it's like no go get your own plate no and then also how do I know what you want on Exa your plate? Exactly. This is why the answer to all of this is no. How about you go make your plate, I'll wait with right. the kid, and then I'll go make my plate. Because I will be making two plates, looking super fat, and then still get it wrong. I didn't grab what you wanted. Oh, well, they had those? Why didn't you grab me some of that? No. Yeah, you no. go make your own plate. Yeah. I ain't making you a plate. Yeah. Uh, where do you stand, uh, sort of corollary off of this, where, where do you stand on the shameless buzz by first one in line for food move at a gathering or picnic or function so in other words they say food's ready and you're like okay and you take no time whatsoever grab a plate and fly in right away are you okay with that do you feel like it's rude do you feel like you should just lay back a bit bit and not be so pushy i'm i'm 100 okay with that person I hate the because someone's got to be first, someone's right? got to be first. I mean, don't be obnoxious. Don't like literally sprint up there. But otherwise, everyone's <laughs> don't standing shove around people out of right. the way like Costanza. You but, know, get but out of the way. Otherwise, people yeah. are standing around going, well, I know he said that, but no one else is going. So maybe we should also <laughs> not. What? No, he said, go, let's go. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. Plus, I, I usually only have half the stuff anyway, since I skip all the vegetables and salad. So I'm not going to take any time at the front of the line. You might as well let me go. Yeah. I'll fly right through. Yeah. I wish you could just start at the end of the buffet where they put everything that's good. But now your plate's already full of salad and mistakes. Mm. Uh, all right. Next, women, where do you stand on Tina Fey, who turns 53 tomorrow? Funny, sassy, like her. Yes. Agreed. When she was on Saturday Night Live doing Weekend Update, oh, really I good. I had a huge crush. Love yeah. Tina Fey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she She's worked. 20 years older than you are, so there you go. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Thank you for that, pointing that out. <laughs> uh, and finally, my other, where do you stand on getting a free towel for <laughs> an event? <laughs> did you get it? I did not get a free towel. But, oh. you know, I just in general, I thought about, OK, they gave away a golf towel to Butchie at Century World. You know, uh, the Sunburn Bowlers got a free towel um, yeah. for this last trip. If it's, a, if a, it's a good sized, good weight, good uh, fiber towel, then I'm all for it. If it's cheap, if it's something you're only going to use to wipe the grease off your hands after you change the oil in your car, not as exciting. I just, I guess I don't find myself needing towels that often. I, I, I don't know. No. I don't think it's a big enough <laughs> gift. It's a, a good enough gift as a tchotchke. Really? Yeah. What if, it's, what if it's part of the overall package? How come then you picked up a towel off the ground at Lambeau because you're like, ooh, ooh, I want this one on their giveaway last year? No, it wasn't a towel. I think it was. It was no. It was finger gloves. I believe. Yeah, it's gloves. Everyone could use gloves. Okay. Packer uh, games are cold. You need gloves. Su noobs from Sussex says, "I've got two. Where do you stand? Questions today." And then I'm like, "Where are they?" Noobs no, gotta just, send them in. He just wanted to let you know. Ryan in the car. Hell yes to making a plate for anyone. Hope they like broccoli, potatoes without gravy, and hot dogs with no buns because that's what I'm giving them. See. You Bernie in York VA says we place. never gave allowance to our kids, but they helped the parents farm in the summer, got paid for picking fruits and vegetables. Interesting. 262, typical bourgeois take. Why pay for labor when I can get it for free? Kids must organize and start a union to demand fair wages from their parents' oppression. Okay. <laughs> uh, Eddie and Stalis, where do you stand on Stonefire Pizza closing for good? Yes, 17, yeah, 17 years. years. Yeah. What a... Made it through what COVID, happened? too. Well, no one knows. What happened? Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? No no one really knows. They um, they just closed shop, and they said that if you had something on the books coupons. or something else, yeah, you have a, you had a coupons. Or, yeah, that sucks. Anytime a pizza joint closes, a, a single tear rolls down my cheek, like Iron Ice Cody in the commercial about our rivers being polluted. Zach and Janesville, 
We don't give our kids an allowance and instead pay them our commission. Instead, pay our our pay our them commission. Uh, if they want money, they need to earn it. We start paying them at two years old for jobs that they help with that are beyond basic responsibilities. Oh, we pay them on commission is what he meant to say. Okay. So it's not an allowance. It's a pay per job kind of thing. So in other words, Zach and Janesville has what I would like to call the gig economy going on inside his own sure. familial structure. <laughs> yeah. I remember, you know, I had my 10 year old daughter working as an Uber driver for the family. You know, she didn't even have a license, but we taught her how to drive. So we paid her to drive us to the airport at 10 years old. We figured it was the right thing to do financially. Yeah. Right. Violate all kinds of motor vehicle laws and everything else. Hey, we paid her. <laughs> imagine, imagine making one of your kids be your personal Uber driver in the family. Hey, we all, we, have, we all have a role in this family. Okay. You're the driver. Now pick us up right. from the bar at one. All right. I promise we're going to get to a whole bunch of your where do you stands coming up next segment. Matt Miller in hour number three. Stay with us. You're listening to the game.